Here we are on part three of OBS Classic versus OBS Studio. To get started, we're going to have a look at previewing a simple stream. And you can see uh, that I'm uh, on camera for this one. I only come on camera when I actually have to, and it's, it's worthy and valuable to the video. Talking us through a simple scene, what we have here, and I'm just going to take all three off on OBS Classic, and that is on the left hand side, we've got a blank canvas. What I've had is an image, which is my laptop show image. I want this as a background image. I'm also looking at a video capture which is me speaking on the webcam. And also I'm looking at a window capture, which is this thing at the back, which is a simple time-lapse video. If I play the video, it will look like this. And then that will come into previewing. And that is our OBS Classic stream ready to go to be recorded to our hard drive or to go to live at YouTube or any other service you want to send it to. So I'm just going to stop it there. And then I'm going to compare that to OBS Studio. Over here, what we're going to do is I'm just going to stop the preview, remember? And also remember, this is the last video that I'm going to compare the two, then I'll focus solely on OBS Studio. So what we've got is an identical scene that's made up. So I just, just need to move myself just a little bit over. doesn't matter. You've got the idea that it's the slide, and I'll just turn them off to do like for like. So we've got nothing. We've got the image made up of the background. Overlaid over the top of that is a webcam and also overlaid over the top of that side by side is the slideshow. Now, when I say slideshow, I'm going to be very, very careful here because what we've got here, just going back to, I'm just going to preview the other side here. And that is that when we added this scene, what we had is I chose in OBS classic to add a window capture. So when I say that, what I mean is the window capture look is going to be the properties, and that is a time-lapse 002, which is from GOM Player. The choices on my computer were this. Be careful, because you've got GOM Player, which is the player itself, and also the video file. That's what I had to choose. Cancel that. Stop that stream. Go back to what happens in studio and what we've got this time is if I looked at the media source my only choice for an example is to go in and have a video an mp4 here so I could have done this by adding a window capture and when I added the window capture, I would have had a drop down in the same way. And look, here it is, third choice, GOM, time lapse 002. The point I'm getting across is I had to fiddle about with uh, over here in Classic, where the version on OBS Studio means, let me just remove that one, is when I added the media source and I need to inspect the properties here, you've got the really handy thing. And that is that if you started a show or a stream and you just wanted to have a video running in say a 30 second loop, say advertising things or telling you what the agenda is, you can have a loop here. And what that means is that once the video ends, it restarts and just runs in this loop all the time. So if I turn off that loop and go, okay, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the media source off because it gets annoying. And then I want to go over and finish this video by looking at three things and the, the real difference between the two things here, between Classic and Studio. What I need to do, first of all, is I need to go in and right-click and I want to copy scene. Right-click, copy scene. And what I've actually done, if I if I preview the stream here, is in the same way as if you were going to do a TV stream. I'm just going to turn that off so you can look at just one on the left hand side. And that is that I can come in and I can say, here we are on our show or whatever. And, and this is it. Hello. Here we are. Now, if you go to scene number two, what I want to do is edit that scene and I want to have the focus much bigger, much, much bigger on the piece of, um, running media video if you like. So what I want to do with this one is bring in the webcam. I'm just going to make it slightly different. Yeah, move it in. That, that'll do. And so what I want to do is I want to bring myself up to the top here. So I'm just looking in. What we've now created is a separate scene. So watch what happens in a TV way. You would click on number one. And here we are. Look, when you're welcome to the show, we're looking at some time lapse sky uh, on the laptop show. And then I click number two. 
and then immediately I'm given number two. In other words, a small webcam over here and a large piece of media. And then scene number two is identical, and this time let's say I wanted to create another scene, and the way I've copied and pasted them means that it just saves me a lot of work, like that's what copy and paste is, isn't it? So if I click edit scene again, and this time what can we do? I want to have um, myself just not there at all, and this time I'm not really too fussed because I want to give a full screen on the video. So let's go back over to OBS Studio and look at exactly the same thing. Here is our number one scene. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to duplicate number two and I'm also going to right click and duplicate number three. So remember number one is looking at the scene we've got set up right now. Number two I'm just going to change and I want to make my webcam very very small and I'm going to put this right up the top in the left and I'm going to bring up my piece of media quite big. Now what we'll find here and I'm just going to that that will do for for the time being and now what we're going to do is number three I want to create a full screen. In other words it will be a welcome to the show here we are we're talking about um, time-lapse sky and then when I go to scene number two and this is the big deal is when I click and you'll notice it says fade when I click scene two look it will just slowly fade through and scene three it will fade through again that's the big big difference on OBS classic it is just cut cut very aggressive cuts with OBS studio if I put in a fade of 100 milliseconds, then that's a second. For an example, when I fade back, can you see it's a much slower fade? This is the huge win on OBS Studio. What we can do is click our right hand button here to Studio Mode, and you can see it looks like that. Now, the one on the right hand side is your live stream, what is either being recorded or live stream, say to YouTube. On the left is what's coming up. From the beginning again, we're, we're live with the three source setup, in other words slide, webcam and video, I want to transition through to this next one which is on the left, so I hit transition and there I've got it. Now while say the presenter or whatever is enjoying this, I want to go full screen, so I think which one is that? Oh it's number three and there it is look ready to go and I hit transition and then I can do a slow fade through. Studio is really excellent in this way in that we can do cuts or we can do transitions and also we've got a difference of the fades and I, I can dial in and mess around with that as I wish. I'm going to do this in more advanced videos. So in other words, that's how it works between OBS Classic and OBS Studio. This was video three of three.